Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to build on the Mega Kaiju that I built. And I did show you a couple of times before, and his name is Rakuja. So basically how this thing is going to go is it's going to go from bottom to top for this how to build. So also, if this thing's going too quick, you can always pause the video just in case... Also, for some reason, I did not do a parts layout in the beginning. Well, actually, the reason why is because I wanted to get this as accurate as possible to it as it was before. Because, no, I don't have enough pieces to build a secondary one to actually do the how to build. So, yeah, I just did it as best I could. Also, the hands worked really similar to the 2016 Storm Beast from Bionicle. I actually really like the idea of how Storm Beast's hands work, except uh, the, for the fact that he didn't have elbows, which is kind of annoying. Also, there's going to be a part that's going to come up in a bit, and I'll which includes a gearbox. And I'll tell you what's going to go on with that in a minute when we get there. So as you can see right here, Never mind. So at the head, I had a bit of a situation. When I was building this, I kind of screwed up on a part of it, of it. With those parts on ball joints that can attach to the axles. Yeah, I screwed up a bit here. Yeah, I actually kind of forgot how to build that until that very moment. And head design is a bit more complex than most bionicle head designs. And Okay, now here's where the thing in the gearbox comes in. After the shoulder pads are built, then I'll tell you what. Yeah, here comes the gearbox. So the thing with this is that it, since the arms are so heavy, I decided to make it very, very tight with adding as many um, of those things that you see on a Kimu, the uh, new one. So that way it's actually able to hold the weight of the arms without having a droop. Do you get my point, guys? Do you? Also, since this is a mechanical kaiju, I decided to actually add a bit of mechanical stuff, like pistons, inside the body, which are visible from the outside, which I think is a nice feature. And I know some kaijus can be really spiky, like Shrike Thorn, etc. So that's why I added a lot of spikes. And assembly here was kind of complicated, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.